from the top. Flip, flip, flip. Page, page, page. Oh, I was actually gonna ask another thing. Shoot! As he continues uh, to thumb through the manual. Uh, you think me? You think you can get me like a, a dictionary between common and draconic? You know, that way I don't have to keep asking you to do this every time I got a question. I don't mind the question, Samson. I know, but like, I don't want to be a bother if I can do it myself. True, but as I see it, you three are basically tied to my hip at this point. It might actually get some things to be easier if you do have to rely on me. If you catch my drift. I get you. Exactly. In any event. Wait, you said you use a whip, right? Uh oh, Jade dies. Wait, Jade, what happened? Jade didn't. What? You, you left roll 20. Jade died. I didn't. Jade's back. <laughs> All is right with the world, or Jade is back with us. I jaded. Nothing, nothing happened, man. Well, I mean, me and Shay can't both be crazy. You disappeared from row 20. Yeah, but nothing happened on my end. Yeah. I wasn't looking. In any of it. Yeah, I use a whip. And you use it for damage or for grappling? Um... I mean, it, it's sort of just something I use to keep a distance in a fight if I lose my guns. You ever try to grapple somebody? No. And he closes the manual. Give me the whip! Here you go. Stand up! Okay. I'm sorry, Samson. How long's uh, the whip again? Uh, so the, the whip range is 10 feet. However long it actually is, um, there's, there's really no answer, because the indie's kind of dumb and nebulous like that. Fair enough, so we'll say it's good enough to hit foreseeably any angle within 10 feet. Yeah, I'd say like maybe 12, like 12 feet is a good range for a whip, you know? So Zanzibar will measure and he'll stand like 5 feet away from you, look back, he'll take a few more steps until he's probably close to like... Eight or seven. Unfurl the whip. And then he'll just jerk the whip at you before you can even reach your hands. The whip's completely around your throat. <laughs> and then he just jerks you right onto your belly and drags you by your head to his feet. <laughs> Every single amenity is a perfect example of something that can be grappled onto. It's just basically how strong you are versus how strong they are. In my case, it's really easy to jerk you off your feet for two reasons. One, I'm me, and two, you're standing on sand. That doesn't help. But anything I can do with this whip, so too can you. As he unfurls it from your neck and drops <laughs> it on your chest. S Samson was... Hold it like hold like trying to loosen it with his hand with like and then held the thumbs up with his other hand <laughs> before Zanzibar like unfurled it. <laughs> oh god. I mean I I've, I've been able to do that with a lasso, but I never thought to do it with a whip. Oh yeah. This whip's just thin enough you can do it. There are thicker whips that don't really abide by it. I could get you one that really locks up tight. Ah, I think I have one. And he just snaps his fingers, holds out his hands, and a totally different whip drops in. Yes. You see this ball end here? It's a gun! As he demonstrates the end of the whip he just took. Well, what end did he say it has? He said ball end, but it's like a circular end with a lot of little marks on it. Yeah? And he kind of takes it and attaches it to somewhere along the length of the end of the whip, and it just sticks. It sticks to itself. So, theoretically, if I did this, and he just 
just wraps it around your ankle. And then, I take your weight, compensate, turn around, and... And he literally drags you. He, you see the whip just, like, going into the air over his head? It just starts tugging on your ankle, and you have this, like, one half second oh, moment of... No! Oh, fuck. <laughs> and you just go soaring over his uh -oh. head, and you just slam onto your back. You take a nice two damage worth of bludgeoning. As I... As I hit into the sand? Yeah, as you just... <laughs> See, I'm just gonna come back super confused. Oh. Yeah, what, what's the little technique to get it to, un to unwrap itself? Callous hands! As he just puts his hands on the ball end and you just hear it go... <laughs> Kinda like Velcro. Ah, I see, I see. Here, keep that. Consider it a present. Oh. And he just extends his hand for you to take it. I I will take it. You connect your hand to his and the two damage is healed. And he pulls you back on your feet. And now I have this whip. Yes, the grapple whip. Mechanics will be figured out later. I will put it in as grapple. Not to be confused with the <laughs> snapple whip, which is just a snapple container with the whip attached. I was gonna say, I really hope the grapple whip is made from grapple wolf hide. <laughs> I know, I know they don't exist in the same universe, but I can pray. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> well, if you help me to learn what a grapple wolf is, it's a homebrew monster I made for my campaign. <laughs> it's a meme. Yeah. It's a meme. <laughs> Nim just asked that at the bar if it's a fun trip. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nim blurts that out and Paul's like, what? <laughs> Is this a fun trip for you? <laughs> no. It's fun for me. Nim oh. just gets all pouty, like... At least one me. of us is enjoying the day. <laughs> Somebody's got to Y'all don't enjoy shit. She enjoys things, just not people disappearing. I enjoy every moment with you guys. Even the ones where I'm dying. Kidding. Even the ones where I'm killing other, some of my other friends. Even the ones where you're dying? No, that was me, not no. Yeah, no, but... <laughs> You don't have to play it. I'll look at it. <laughs> anyway, any other questions, boyo? Um. Mm. Ask them to clean you off so you don't have to worry about Granny yelling at you. That's I mean, it's just, just sand. sand. She's yelled at him for that! Sand is coarse and rough and it gets everywhere. <laughs> and she also did hit him with a stick tracking sand in her house. <laughs> Pretty sure that was okay. mud. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was mud. And in fact, it was after you went fishing for the, uh... At the fish that you didn't kill, and it went stiff as a board. That was for bringing a fish. Tomato, tomato, and fish. I'm pretty sure that was because he was soaking wet. That feel when you can't remember why Samson was getting smacked <laughs> over the head by Granny Zan, but you just know that he did. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. he got smacked like three times that day. Sometimes. Hey, smacked non-stop with- No, that's not there. true. He hasn't been smacked in the last 24 hours. Well, he that hasn't been change. around and then we were asleep. <laughs> no 
still counts. Anyway, Samson was gonna ask one other question. Um, so, I've noticed that this doesn't have anything for gunfighting, which I get makes sense. They probably didn't have guns um, that far back. Do you have anything that would help with, like, a gunfighting manual, too? I mean, honestly, any kind of proficiency you would need with guns is probably going to be something you come up with. You have to remember mm. something. Any kind of tactic you read in a book is a tactic somebody else has fought against. If you want my advice, come up with something unique, something wholly your own, something that'll keep your opponent ever guessing. I mean, I've been trying. And that's good. But while there are plenty of militaries that use guns nowadays, <laughs> those are all going to be old hat, so to speak, as he kind of just flicks the brim of your hat. The only thing that would probably help is if there was anything left from the Samaria. Because it's been so long, probably no one ever remembers or even knows what kind of guns they had. I mean, I do, but those have all pretty much been destroyed. They kind of had to be. They were a little too... good. Mm. So we make new guns, got you. Hmm. Everything that helps to create has pretty much been wiped away. You know, the folly of righteousness. So, reading on old stuff is only gonna get me so far, and coming up with new stuff's gonna take some time, cause, well... On vacation. Which and even then, we're gonna be going on a pirate ship, and I don't think I'm gonna be shooting at anyone there. Probably not. Unless you really want to combat everything that's in this ocean. <laughs> no. Oh, but they're the most fun. For you. Guilty as child. I already met one of those hydro bastards, and they nearly turned the ship into, well, the ship in. I know, they're so cute, aren't they? Yeah, Zanzibar, I thought you wanted us to not die. Yeah. By the way, I, rem I remember when I tried to shoot that thing, it did no good. Uh, do you think the atom bullets will work through the trick, or is there some other secret? Give us the rundown of that last time we were here. Yeah, you know, Tarasks kind of wake up, go on a rampage of devastation, go back to sleep. Who knows, maybe by the time you're an adult and a professional, you'll be able to take one of your own down. And just Can pat I you on the thing? shoulder. And just pat you on the you shoulder. You really think so? <laughs> Probably. You really or think you'll die. Do it, Dad? Oh. Oh. I hope it's a former. But you are onto something. Think of it like this. Every professional adventurer, military man, dungeon, military officer, dungeoneer, etc., etc. What's the one thing they all have in common, pretty much? Um, they have to kick ass or they die? Yes. But do they ever fight the same? No. Exactly. Could you imagine if somebody like Rhino ran around and used the exact same fighting style as you or Gala or Rosebeard or... I mean, no, but wouldn't he have had to build that off of other fighting styles and make it his own? To an extent, but you already know how to shoot a gun, right? 
Yeah, I was wondering if I can... I mean... If I learn how to do it differently, maybe I can take what makes that good and make what I do better. Because I know I ain't the best. You've got good hmm. spirit, but I would worry more about what happens when people get close. I've seen you I fire can... a gun before. You're good enough at it. Hmm. Yeah. I can fire from close range, though. Doesn't spook me no how. Oh, one thing. That, there we go. Speaking of uh, taking things and, and, and putting them together. When, when Hal and I were sparring. Ooh, we, I couldn't, I could not keep up. I mean, like, I had two weapons, and she only had one, but she was able to hit me way more times than I could really even land on her. That probably has a lot to do with the, her life. They don't exactly get ch childhood in combat. Yeah. Well, at the base of the mountain, they do. Not where she's from. Hmm. Is, is the base the top or the bottom? He kind of just blinks at you. The bottom. Section. Okay. I'd never seen a mountain. You know, that's fair. I'll give you the. I'll give you a point for that. Any other questions? Hmm. At the moment, no. I'm just gonna try and parse what I learned and see what I can do with that. Fair enough. If you have any more, you know how to call me. Now I'm going to send you back before, you know, I become any more of a villain. <laughs> oh, why is Yala freaking out? Probably. I didn't bother to check. Hmm. Remember, as far as people like her are concerned, if I breathe, I'm evil. I do a lot of breathing. <laughs> See? That's probably a quarter of like 12 genocides. I took three breaths. That's a lot of genocides. I know, right? I can't even be, I can't even count how, count that fast. With the amount of people I get blamed for killing, Woo-wee! You'd think I'd be rich! Er. Richer. Do you have money? Oh, yeah! Wanna or, see or, it? or is all that... Or all that is just acid? Yeah, sure, I guess. Oh, yeah, sure. Come on. Besides, I swear I... to God, if he's... I swear to God, if he just screwed your McDuck's into a fucking puddle of gold <laughs> coins... <laughs> Also, he has no right to complain about, oh, the call of the rich when he's rich himself. <laughs> I mean, I do end up picking up a lot of shekels here and there, but I have nothing to spend it on, so I kind of just... Anyways! And he just grabs you by the whisk and walks over to the door. Besides, I want to get inside before those golems actually make it over here. Golems? You just look over your shoulder and you see... In the d on the horizon, just a giant cloud of dust kicking up. Uh oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's like 35 golems there, and I'm too tired right now to actually do a fight, and I don't feel like just dropping a crater in the middle of the desert. So he opens the door, drags you inside, closes the door, and you're you're back in the stairwell. The mystical, magical stairwell. I would like Upstairs. to the money room. And well. Samson! Yeah? Concentrate on going where I'm going. That's all you have to think. I want all to right. follow Zanzibar. I want to all follow right. Zanzibar. I want to follow it. And as he speaks, you know, he fades away. 
and you're just being dragged by the wrist by nothing. Final final Zane. Final final Zane. And you Final end up in a dark... he clicks his heels together. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> and you... <laughs> you end up in a dark stone room, the stones matching the makeup of the rest of the tower. You can barely see anything. In fact, you really can't see anything. It's pitch black. Well, here we are. can't see a thing. Alright, you don't have dark vision. And as you turn around, you just see his glowing pupils in yeah. the darkness. Ooh. Hi! And as he smiles, his teeth are just, like, luminescent white. Did you get that mm. checked out? Anyway! Oh. He snaps his fingers, and the room is filled with dancing lights. And it is at that, that moment cool. that you see the what you you can barely make out because most of the walls are covered, but it's a sixty by sixty foot stone room, and the walls are just piled floor to ceiling with platinum coins. Ooh, wowee! This is in fact the single largest collection of wealth you've ever seen in your life. Oh my moly! Yeah, whatever coins they end up bringing back over the thousands of years eventually find their ways to me. I take them, I convert them, I put them here. We lack an economy! And then they sit here because I have never had a reason to buy anything. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Yep. But I'm not here to spoil you, so back you go! Yeah. And he just picks you, up. <laughs> picks you up by the back of the cloak, snaps his fingers, and then you just land inside Zan's house. Two inches from having landed on top of her. Well, I just assumed, like, at, well, it just straight into one of the chairs. <laughs> no, it just butt hits the floor, and Zan's just, like, in a eek position. I'm back! Why are you trying to kill me? I mean, Granny, uh, that's next week. I wasn't. I, I'm not in charge of where we teleport back from. Or to. Sorry. <sighs> that's fair. <laughs> I was figuring something was wrong. Kayla's been running around like frantic! Aw, she missed me that much. I guess. Surprised to say. Uh, yeah, actually. Was Nim running around too? <laughs> Nim? Run? I looked out the window at one point and I saw Shala carrying her, so. I don't think no. she had a point! Or a choice! I think she was kind of just luggage! Yeah, wait that about, makes sense. Wait about 20 oh. minutes. Now, before something blows up, go make yourself known. Go, go. And she just lightly starts tapping you in the butt with the end of the walking stick. I got it, I got it. <laughs> uh, he gave me back the book, right? Because the last I saw it was in his hands when he was practicing. As you walk out onto the porch, a manual drops on your head and hits the ground. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> No, Ow. It's too late for Ow. You say Ow, but then you realize it, it felt mean, like a sheet it, of paper. It, it, it's one of those things where, like, you expect it to hurt, so you Ow, like, but then it doesn't. Like, when you play doesn't. a video game and you get hit, and you're like, Ow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Simpson's too used to getting hit in the head, like, in this <laughs> on this <laughs> island. Ow. He can actualize it. Haha. <laughs> And now Samson is traumatized. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Better make sure this is taken care of. And Samson's going to, like, make sure there's, like, no floor on it and then put it in the bag of holding. Yeah. And you walk down the porch to go find Kiala and Nim? 
Yeah. Gala! Man! Oh, there you guys are. Hella, Hella glances at him, says a few words in the old language, and then goes back to looking out. <laughs> Did I hear her? I oh. mean, she, she was saying it to you. <laughs> okay. Aw, oh, I missed you too! <laughs> Here! I, I brought gifts. Translation what? from old language. You cute son of a bitch, where the fuck did you go? Ah! No, I, I think it was more if you ditch us again, I'll kill you myself. <laughs> yeah, that's probably more accurate. I enjoy everyone's guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Waffles. Do you actually know what she said? Yellow <laughs> looks at him and says, Waffles. <laughs> Waffles. With a Wait, do you, do you <laughs> actually know what he what you said in the old language, or you just, you know? So it wasn't really anything specific so much as a list of all the curse words she knows. <laughs> That's actually what I was thinking too. Motherfucker piece of shit. Ones that, like, damn, don't have fuck. direct translations to common. Except waffles. Oh god, so they're like old language curses. Yeah. Like Yiddish curses. Yeah. I recently yeah. saw a picture of some Yiddish curses. They are. They're fun. I thought Jewish, they were having limbs Jewish there, like. people go fucking hard when they want to be mean to you. Like, holy shit. I remember oh, yeah. seeing one, it translated to, I hope a wagon rolls over your skull. <laughs> Not even head, it specified skull. Like, Jesus Christ. Uh, Samson. So, <laughs> so yeah, after Hyala's done cursing at him, <laughs> he's just gonna go, I missed you too. Here, I brought gifts. And then he's going to toss Yala one of the necklaces. Just catches it and just kind of looks at it. Actually, and then he's gonna realize that he's still wearing his and he's gonna take it off and put it in the bag of holding. Yeah, you were realizing you were getting a little too chilly. Yeah. Just give him all the Yala and she'll be comfortable. What color Every are they? Everything, they're ice, they're silver pendants with ice stones in them. Tiny ones? Or... Fairly big ones. Okie dokie. You know, about like, a two inch circle. Or maybe one inch. Where's that ruler? I can't do, I can't do sizes. The difference between two inch and one inch is quite big. Yeah, it's like a whole inch. Yeah, it's double. Two inches, I have decided. Diameter or radius? Diameter. Okay. Gosh, I hope no radius. <laughs> Whew! Giant fucking- Use these things as a weapon. Giant fucking jewels. Yeah, look, we got bling. <laughs> oh, Nim, I got one for you, too. Oh, thank you. Nim, here you go. We'll take it. Uh, and then this a look of disgust. With my outfit. Yeah, a look of disgust will come on Nim's face as she realizes that this thing is tacky. <laughs> well, it's not tacky, tacky. It's tasteful. It's... So... Samson's gonna put his in. Uh, I'm assuming it doesn't weigh very much. No. You heard me, right? Yeah. Nim will oh, say. Okay. Nim says thank you. Let's not put it on. It was one of the things that was asked for. It was? Yeah. Hey, Samson, and then we'll say poking your side. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Did you learn anything? Uh, learned a few things, got a few things. Uh, mainly just gotta work on some stuff. 
I see, I see, I see. Start lifting dumbbells, it'll change your life. Nim refuses. We know. Nim refuses to change pretty strong. Nim refuses to change your life. And then the future never changed. Yay, no more changing. So where do you go now? Where to does the party travel? Oh, Samson's gonna go back to studying the, uh... Uh, he's gonna go back to that short sword page and keep continue studying the kata. You walk away from the ca uh, cottage? Yeah. And you just hear, OH BY THE WAY! Huh? Catch! Okay. And you just, you hold your hands out? Yeah. And you just see, uh, you just hear a poof! And you look up, and you see a cloth sack land in your arms? Hey, uh, it's about time you got that back! Got this bad. And Samson's just going to try and toss it out of his head. <laughs> and he can, like, take cover, like, over here. Shay, would you like to roll the D100? I got you, fam. Let's see. Samson was here. He probably would have tossed it, like. <laughs> what is number uh, 73? Like, a I little bit over didn't here. Have it up. We suck. That's here. And he's gonna go here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in a second. A random creature within 60 feet of you becomes poisoned for 1d4 hours. <laughs> so, you, you toss the, you go to toss the bag, you start running, and you just hear And as you feel a wave of pressure wash over you, you begin vomiting. <laughs> oh, it's me specifically? Yeah. You were the closest one. You were the creature within such and such feet of it. I mean, so are you guys. It said randomly. Oh, are we randomlying it? Mm. I don't think it's that important. <laughs> oh, God! Are you okay? No, oh, I haven't had anything to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Samson's going to take out one of the things of antitoxin that he has and try and down it. You successfully down it. And you start to feel a little better, but you do feel weak. Oh. <sighs> oh. Oh. Can I can I borrow the water bottle? Yeah, and then we'll, uh, go over here, and then throw you the water bottle. <laughs> Thanks. Samson's gonna, like, geyser his mouth clean. <laughs> oh my god! Sam Not actually geyser. <laughs> Samson oh. caught the COVID. <laughs> the COVID of Zanzibar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's going to... This is ours, 19! <laughs> 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 the czar is fire. <laughs> that should be as funny as Well, it bye is. guys, that's the end of the campaign. Why is that the end of the campaign? Because now we've got Zanzma. I mean, we can't go up from here. Damn, you think that's the peak comedy I can come up with? <laughs> I feel like I should be a little hurt. <laughs> you should. Jade, why do you bully me? I thought we were friends. Pain is just weakness leaving the body. <laughs> okay, Yala's the home country. <laughs> <laughs> and so Samson's going to like rinse his mouth out of all the bile, toss the bottle back to Nim, and go pick up his armor. Out of curiosity, which one was that? I got really sick. Ah, poison. 
I figured you wouldn't mind too much. I'm going this way. Bye. Piala's just walking forever. <laughs> she doesn't even want to know what's going on. I'm just gonna go take a nap behind whatever this building this is. Fair enough. That's someone else's house, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> She's a cat. She sleeps wherever she wants. Heck yeah, if I fit, I sit. If she fits, so, she sits. And I fit in this big open field. <laughs> she cute, so she fits anywhere. So, but for she yeah. sits so, anywhere. Samson is going to take the armor out of the bag and walk over and like, he's gonna take the bag take the armor out of the bag go up to Nim and be like can you clean this bag off Nim will clean the bag off Samson attains another container he'll put the armor back in the bag and then he'll store it in the cottage <gasps> he doesn't put his armor on oh in case Nim needed another hug yeah, he's so unhuggable with the armor on. <laughs> Big blood of Samson. So, all after this is said and done, <laughs> Samson's just gonna go, hmm, where'd Gala go? And we'll just point uh, towards the building. She went over there, but I don't know why. Hmm. Kayla runs really fast. Did you know that? I did. I, I, I've, I've definitely seen firsthand that the backs are really, really fast. When? Uh, when I climbed a building against one. That's what you were doing? Yeah. You yelled at me while I was doing it. Oh, Sam's gonna draw out his uh, short sword and continue practicing those katas. Practicing his dance moves. Yes. Tim is gonna play with dancing lights on the porch. What's Yala dreaming about? Um. Let me see. A roll of D100. That's. <laughs> oh, Yala's poisoned. <laughs> I don't know why I rolled that like I actually would have had a hundred things to <laughs> choose I from. Mean, you did what I did! You literally... I have five or six things, so I'm gonna roll. Yeah, you basically did what I do, where I'll be like, okay, what dice should I roll? This seems like a good one. Roll it, see the result. We're sitting here, and I'm like, oh, I probably should have picked some options first, shouldn't I? <laughs> nah, just go with the one that feels the most right. Oops. Ah, shall I roll the roll dash? Uh, I don't know how things are going. Okay. <gasps> Not the worst possible one. The second worst possible one. Oh no. Oh boy, story time. <laughs> Ooh. Well, wait, you wait, you actually want story time? Yeah. Yeah. All right, right, okay. The sure. rest of us have decided on what we're doing because we've been doing it for the past the hour and a half. All right, fine. Jeez. Uh, okay. So, small Hyala, she's 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 in a fight, oh. and uh, some she's 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 got her back to someone for a split second, and suddenly there's an incredibly sharp pain in her left shoulder. And she blacks out for a few moments. When she comes to, the whole ground, pretty much, that she could see from where she is, admittedly face down on the ground, is real red. She doesn't feel great. She sits up. There's a gigantic gash where her shoulder's supposed to be. So she, uh, she grabs a fistful of snow and crams it in there to try and stop the bleeding and cauterize it to whatever extent that can be done. 
and she just kind of lies there and hopes she doesn't die. The end. Woohoo! Yeah, story time! And now y'all know how Jala got her scar. Yeah. By a mysterious figure. Big ol' axe to the back. I assume you were fighting a different person than the one that axed you something. Yes. Damn. Damn, sneak attack damage be trippin'. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Aarakocra <Eric> rogues. <laughs> Stupid fucking birds. <laughs> I was about to say stupid fucking birds. Stupid fucking birds. These fucking borbs, Batman. Live in the goddamn sneak attack damage. <sighs> so I guess we advance in time, and then it's high noon! High noon! Woohoo! High noon! Any bang bangs for high noon? Um. No, because Granny Zan would probably yell at me. <laughs> he's so well behaved all of a sudden, Jesus. All of a sudden, he's been well trained. Disciplinary action worked. <laughs> Spare the rod, spoil the cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the Nim doing? Uh, still playing with dancing lights. For like five hours? You can do a lot with dancing lights. They dance. Oh, I didn't think Nim had that kind of concentration. Yes, she does. She just never uses it. She just pretends oh, to be say, hyperactive. I will say one other thing. Nim, Nim, Nim will hit up Zanzibar. Yo, dude, what up? I'm kidding. She'll be like, hey. What you doing? Hey. 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 Zanzibar. Hey. hey. Zantax. <laughs> I'm you kidding. Bitch. Zanzibar. Zanzibar. What? Do you know a priest? Uh, why would I know a any priest that I probably know, I probably already killed? How unfortunate. Yeah, it's almost like I have a dislike of the righteous or the god worshipping why what do you need a priest for i got cursed so break the curse if i could do that i wouldn't be cursed I'm what? just saying what kind of curse was it how did you get cursed well you see I was throwing hams into the ocean, like one does, you were and then I turned blue. And then... So you surged? Yeah, pretty much. What? Just... Just... What? Ah. Break Zanzibar two you... days in a row, check. Did you just start... Feeling like a welling anger. Like, that's not a curse! You wild surged! Same diff. You had changed! Like, it doesn't even matter! It's more an inconvenience, but it takes a remove curse to get off, and I'd rather not be blue. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'll show you what a curse is. You want to see what a curse is? You want to see what a real curse is? No. I don't know. It sounds like you want to see what a curse is. No, actually. <laughs> I wanted to see a priest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's she's not wrong. Uh, you, you know what? You know what? Just so it's not a cause for you to constantly bring up with me again, you just hear it snap that Zanzibar is behind you. He just grabs each side of your head. Huge bun. Nim is <laughs> lying on the thing, so this is probably weird. Look, Nim's like lying on the ground right now. Forward or backward? Uh. Tell me your back. Forward. So oh, just... on her back. On her back. 
Because he's just standing over top of you, he just it manhandles your skull. Before that happens, Nim waves. Hi. He tries you up and you just feel a surge of magic go through you and he just Talking drops you. There you go! You are sufficiently not blue! Are you happy? Yay! I would love if she's purple instead. <laughs> Nim, Nim will actually do two things. She'll check her hand. Is yeah, she normal? Real hand? Hands huh? are normal. And then she will check her hair to make sure he did not get rid of her blue highlights. He did not mess with your hair. Fantastic. So it did cross his mind to give you an actual pigmentation curse. No! That would have been so funny. It did cross his mind to give you, like, <laughs> leprosy looking spots. Just so wait, what did you do? You're bioluminescent now! <laughs> that is also a wild surge, actually. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And says, thank you! Now I don't have to see a priest. Or huh. find a priest. Now do you mind if I get back to what I was doing? And that's what, what you, you notice. He's literally covered in, like, gashes, cuts, and bruises. You just see a... I almost said you see a priest about that. <laughs> <laughs> Please say that. <laughs> Do you need a priest? <laughs> no! I'm perfectly you need fine! Jesus. I was having fun! Ew. <laughs> oh. Now, can I go? Well? I'm trying to think if I want to make a small comment or not. During, during his kata, Samson will probably turn around and see Zanzibar, and he's gonna go, Hi, Zanzibar! Hello, Samson! Can I go? Do sure. you not like hanging out with us anymore? Is that what it is, Zanzibar? I'm kidding. <laughs> or no, she just emotion surged. <laughs> <laughs> Roll on the That's emotion even more magic dangerous. Table. Roll on the yeah. emotion magic table. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll go, yeah. Hunger. You can go back to having fun. Thank you! There are 35 sand golems that I was currently having combat with! And he just that doesn't sound away. fun, but bye bye! What the hell are doing? Thanks. Still dreaming? Probably. Probably. What's this dream about? I mean, dream time does not work the same as real time. Well, then that probably means. Lot of dreams going on. Now she's dreaming about generic war violence. Woo! Cool. Generic war violence! That's most of her dreams. Cool. We want to know more about Kella. The audience demands it. Yeah. There is no audience. We are the audience. Wow. Don't pretend people would listen to this. We're the audience. We're the ones <laughs> that matter. Uh... Yeah. We matter, Jade. Where's our representation? <laughs> uh, not in Katma. I'm bald. Did you just say you're bald? Yeah. You're not bald. At least I'd like to hope not. Are there like bald to pack these? No, no, no. Like you guys are bald. Why are we bald? Because relative we're not to, the Relative to natives of Katma. Okay. Only mean, really only Samson. Nim could fit in if she wanted to. Yeah, I said I'm coming. I'll be back. What? I'll be back. Continue your debate on naked people. Well, you see, naked people are great. Literally no one brought up freaking people. Well, you see, naked <laughs> people are great because they can't hide anything from you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Naked and furless are the same thing to some people. Uh, no, Kelly uses the word bald. Which I think is hilarious, by the way. <laughs> bald! Bald! What, what are, are, are there, like, hairless tabaxis the same way there are hairless cats? No. Oh, thank god. <laughs> no. Thank god. <laughs> <laughs> just Thanks, like, guys. just like a really I... saggy tabaxi walks in, like, oh, uh, hate her lip cat so much. I mean, didn't hasn't Zanzibar threatened more than once to shave her? Yes. So Hiala could be that bald cat. 
Yeah, Zanzibar could make all of her hair fall out temporarily. And then it's it a get, wild search. It get even worse because the first few days she'd just be absolutely like naked. Oh god! Well, she'd naked still be enough. wearing clothes. She'd still be wearing clothes, but then she'd be pink. And then the worst phase would start. When oh, the, the hair is yeah. When the hair start growing in, and if they don't grow in completely evenly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like I'm gonna go kill myself. Bye. <laughs> she just looks like she, do tabaxi clothes like take into account how fluffy they are? Probably. So like you'd be like a size smaller <laughs> than you'd normally be. Her, her I mean, clothes would be as loose as her skin. <laughs> no, it would all come off into her clothes. <laughs> I hate this entire conversation. <laughs> she would just have. I think the best. She would just part... like slowly sagging down into like the pants. <laughs> <laughs> she's she just got have... giant legs suddenly. <laughs> she just have like air too big. I mean, she's got to take her clothes off at some point. She can't just cut. The hair will fall off. She's at... unless Yala goes crazy and she just holds all of her fur together in her pants. <laughs> Y'all is just gonna, like, wear a burka till her fur comes back. Oh god, like, the two weeks to, like, few months, Y'all is just in that, like, mange stage. Where she's got yeah. huge swaths of, like, not fully grown in hair. <laughs> uh, it's so bad. This is not the kind of angst that we signed up for. It is the one that went on uncomfortably long. <laughs> That is the way. I still think if Prin had been around long enough and gotten Zanzibar mad enough, that him having his scales removed would have been so much worse. <laughs> Naked, scaleless Prin. Literally, he would just look like smooth skin. We, we already made fun of Prin being naked. <laughs> Several times, actually. But, like, it'd be a gross naked. He'd be, like, bubblegum. Ugh. I hate this conversation, once again. Yay! Like, what was that? What was that episode of Spongebob with that really arrogant pickle guy? Oh, Kevin the Sea Cucumber! Yeah, and something happened to him and he was, like, completely naked. They, they took his crown off and said, like, it, that thing wasn't an accessory! <laughs> Like that episode of Dexter's Lab where Dee's imaginary friend gets turned physically inside out. <laughs> oh, you remember that? And cartoons are fucking whack. Oh, that was so. That episode was so cursed the cowardly dog, but it was in the wrong series. Help me, Dee Dee! That was some body horror bullshit. Anyway, now that I think, now that we've probably made Shay sufficiently sick to her stomach, well, no, I'm do... fine. I stopped listening. That that's nice. For me, it is. Sure. What do now? More time go fast. Um, Samson's still practicing. I gonna have Nim. Grow a tail. Nim grows a tail. Boop. Play with dancing lights. With a different tail? way. Uh huh. Cal is still sleeping. Uh, she'll eventually get up and go back to training, too. <laughs> but over here. I don't know why I sufficient. I genuinely thought you were gonna like she'll she'll get back up and go back to sleeping. <laughs> she stands up, goes back to sleep. While standing. Aww, Kiala's so tuckered out she falls asleep while standing. That actually would look pretty cute, I think. <laughs> Kiala's adorable sleeping. I don't know what you mean. She, yeah, yeah gonna, Kiala's gonna... adorable in a lot of ways. Just not when she's angry. Which, unfortunately, is like her de facto state right now. No, Kiala has never not been adorable. <laughs> I don't know. Pissed off Kiala, I don't find adorable. Oh, well, get wrecked this whole campaign, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Kiala's just gonna 
get out of the rows of corn or whatever it is that's over here. The natives <laughs> call it maize. <laughs> play this is the D and D content around. you signed up for. I hope you and like I'm it. I'm proud of it. I am very happy. <laughs> the natives call it maize. The natives call it maize. <laughs> the maze of Zanzibar. The sun continues to advance on its arc through the sky. Oh god! Mm. Try and death ball of fire! Uh, Three o'clock! What do? Um, Sam is probably gonna take a break from training since he's been at it all morning and got his ass, like, kicked by Zanzibar. Just remember, Zanzibar's always willing to spar with someone. Yes, and Samson learned a lot. Did he? He thinks so. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know what you get out of education and what you want to and what you put in. So I can't say how much Samson feels or actually learned. That's up to you. That's why I did. Good, and I am appreciative of it. Ah, new tab. Ah, 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 new the tab! worst thing that could possibly happen. Kel is gonna get bored and go to the tavern. Is that the worst thing that could possibly happen? No. Tabs were the worst thing that could possibly happen. <laughs> Nim's gonna sketch Samson. But Jade, I have so many open music tabs. <laughs> <laughs> Most of those are songs you sent me to, so... Hey, don't... don't at me. <laughs> I'm gonna at you because I need even more songs. Oh. Leave me all. You don't like sharing? I... No. That depends. No sharing. No dragon. Sharing. I get it. We'll you don't like find more songs. You don't like sharing with me. Got it. No, there I just go. don't have to find more songs. You mean you, you mean everyone doesn't have like thousands of songs at the ready? I mean, no. I could send you random songs, but I don't think you need them. Fair enough. What do you mean music sucks? You literally asked me for songs. Yeah. How it does go? Alright, yeah, I'm gonna- They're fine. Hold on. I stopped listening. I listened to each one of them once, and I'm like, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Well, technically twice with that one thing, because <laughs> once you give him an asshole. <laughs> Alright, um, here's- here's- here's his song. Well, you don't have to send it right now. But too bad. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like this is just a random <laughs> song you pulled up? <laughs> it's because it's a random song I pulled up. Oh, Jade, I appreciate you and all that you do. I hey, you asked for song. You got a song. Let's move on. Dang. I don't remember where the tavern is. But... Tell me to shut up, why don't you? What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't look too much into it. Okay. I'll close my eyes. Eyes are closed. One of these days, this girl's gonna kill me. I'm gonna die. You're welcome. So, Kiala goes to the tavern. Yep. It's tavernin'. Kiala want a drink? Kiala want some food? Kiala want a bar fight? Kiala want to play a deck of cards? She's gonna get a drink and then sit at an open table. Kiala gets a drink and sits at an open table. Ba -da -da! What the Samson doing? Ah, uh, he's gonna. Hmm. He is going to finish. So yeah, he finished up practicing because he's had a very eventful, tired morning and also completely forgot to eat. Yeah, Samson hasn't eaten his single meal this whole day. <laughs> but then he's going to notice that Nim's drawing. He's like, oh, Nim, what you drawing? Uh, Nim, Nim will cover it up, but she did not expect him to walk over. I was listening, I promise. At least she didn't do this too soon after asking him to take his shirt off. 
<laughs> Newton oh. totally wasn't drawing shirtless heads in the Oh my <laughs> god, I wish she was! It's really funny! So you know those like oddly stylistic uh, sketch of like the uh, headshots? Yeah. yeah. That's what Nim was doing. Of who, Samson? Mm hmm. Woo! Oh, one of your Middle Eastern cowboys. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah, but that's a, that's a, and then covers up. She's like, oh, I, I was just uh, drawing. What about you? How how was training? Yeah, it was fine, but uh, I'm famished. <laughs>